wanted to record a series of screencasts about programming with Emacs Lisp in Emacs. Uh, so the first one I'm going to do is about evaluation. So let's start up nice empty Emacs. This buffer on the right shows the keys I'm typing, or the important keys that I'm typing anyway. So this buffer we're in here, this is a scratch buffer. You can see that it says that at the bottom of the screen, a scratch buffer. It's a Lisp interaction buffer, which means that we can type Lisp into it. So in the echo area, you can see the result of that expression, frog A. That's the time at which I'm recording this podcast screencast even. So that's one way you could do it. An alternative is escape colon which brings up eval expression. Now we can even complete that current these are all the things that begin with current so time that could be current time current time string, current time zone. So let's have current time string. The result still comes up in the echo area. We can place that value in the buffer though. Control U, escape, colon. Current time string. That turns up in the buffer. That's pretty neat. We can also use history. That's quite useful. So we can evaluate in a scratch buffer and we can evaluate um, a command line thing. The command line thing is quite useful. So there's another command line tool called IELM. And this allows you to do pretty much the same. as the eval expression, but it gives you a more uh, standard REPL type uh, behavior. Uh, so that's possible in IE LAM. There's another REPL in Emacs as well, the E shell. The E shell is normally thought of as being like a shell, like a Unix shell. In fact we can LS. Um, we can do all sorts of LSs. We can CD into work. Here's my null node directory. We can do that. We can even do git ls or git log from here. So we can fire off programs quite happily. So, but it's also a Lisp REPL. supports completion. That's pretty neat. There's one last thing that's interesting. And for this we need to install a package. called LexBind mode and we're going to turn on LexBind mode and we can see that at the bottom of the mode bar, bar 
the in the mode line we can see that this says din which means dynamic which means that this file this buffer is in dynamic scope um, so dynamic scope is a little bit odd it's a feature of emacs really there aren't many programming languages around now that support dynamic scope but if you want a lex scope scratch buffer you can use lexbyte lexbyte and lex scratch now this is in lex mode so in lex mode lambdas become closures you can see at the bottom that this lambda is a closure that's pretty much all there is to how to evaluate things uh, in Emacs and Emacs Lisp. Those are the basic ways of doing it. Um, so just to review, they are inside a scratch buffer by using control X, control E, eval last expression. They are using escape colon in some form of completion, perhaps, for which you can control you and use history. It's also IELM, which is pretty much the same. And finally, Isha. That's all I've got to show. Thanks very much.